Hi there, my Eagle Pico friends! By the end of this digital art tutorial, you'll learn how to create an illustration with the paper cutout effect in Affinity Designer version 2. So if you want to follow along, take a screenshot and let's get started! Decrease the opacity of the sketch to around 25%, lock the layer and add a new layer beneath it. Use the ellipse tool to draw the head of the bird. Then switch to the pen tool, activate the use fill option at the top Select a fill color and create the body. Adjust the node if necessary using the node tool. Select both the head and body with the move tool, switch to the shape builder tool, drag over both layers and click the plus in the top left corner to merge them into one shape. Create a wing using the tier tool. Adjust its size and shape as needed. Once satisfied, click Convert to Curves in the top right corner if you want to tweak the curves further. Add another layer on top of the wing using the ellipse tool. Then select both the ellipse and the wing, switch to the Shape Builder tool, drag over the outside area and select Minus in the top left corner. With the Pen tool, create another layer over the bottom of the wing. Select it along with the wing and repeat the Shape Builder tool steps to subtract the outside area. Set a stroke color, choose the pen tool in line mode and add simple details to the wing. For more on the pen tool, check out my other video where I explain its features in detail. Select all lines, go to the stroke panel, increase the width to 3 points and adjust the pressure settings to taper the stroke ends. Press Alt and pull down the right node to do this. Save your new profile for future use. Group all selected lines and embed them into the wing. For the eye, use the ellipse tool. Align the white and blue layers horizontally and vertically. Then copy and paste the top ellipse to add details, making one ellipse smaller and one bigger. Create a simple beak with the pen tool Change its color and add a line with a thinner stroke end. Insert this layer into the beak. For the cheek, adjust the pressure settings. Create another node in the middle and drag either end node downwards. Save this profile for later. Draw the feet with the pen tool in line mode. Adjusting the color and pressure settings. For the tail, use the tear tool, flip the shape horizontally and adjust its width. To modify both sides at once, press Ctrl and adjust either side. Add a line in the center and insert it into the tail layer. Rotate the tail layer, adjust its length if needed and position it close to the bird's body. Change the fill and stroke color. To rotate from the center, activate the Enable Transform Origin option. Then duplicate the tear shape to complete the tail. Group all tail layers and then all bird layers. Rename the layer by double-clicking to stay organized. Create an ellipse, align it horizontally and vertically and send it to the back. Copy and paste this ellipse, change its color and move it upwards. Create another copy, scale it down and align it with the largest ellipse. Enable snapping and create a square above all layers. Copy the largest ellipse, bring it to the top, select it with the square and choose Subtract in the top right corner to cut out the ellipse from the square. Draw the stem for the first leaf using the pen tool. Increase the stroke width and taper one end by adjusting the pressure settings. Create a leaf with the tear tool Increasing the curve to around 47%. Draw a rectangle over the tear shape 
select both shapes, bring up the shape builder tool, drag over the outside area and choose minus in the top left corner. Fill the half to your shape and position the leaves as desired, adjusting size and width. Add a gradient fill using the linear type, placing the darker color towards the bottom and middle because when you fold a piece of paper, that's where the shadow is. Bring up the style picker tool, click on unload in the top left corner, then click on the layer you want to load the style from and then click on the layer you want to paste the style to. Group all related layers, creating one group for all half tier shapes and another for full tier shapes. Select the stem layer, go to layer expand through and add an inner shadow in the layer effects panel using multiply or color burn blending mode. Group both leaf layers with the stem layer to form a single group for the entire leaf. Duplicate the leaf group and place it over the second leaf in the sketch. Create another copy, scale it down and place it above the bird. Draw the stem for the second leaf with the pen tool, adjusting the stroke color, width and pressure settings for a tapered end. Select all stem layers, go to layer, expand stroke and click add in the top right corner. For the leaf, use the ellipse tool, set only a stroke color and reset all pressure settings. Click on convert to curves to adjust the top and bottom nodes with the node tool, converting them into sharp nodes. Adjust the shape's width by pressing Ctrl and adjusting either side of the shape. Repeat the subtraction steps with a rectangle on top of the leaf using the shape of the tool. Position the first leaf over the sketch. And apply a gradient fill adding the darker color to the center. Copy and paste these leaves, placing them over the sketch. Group all related layers again, forming groups for half tier shapes and full tier shapes. Bring the bird and square with a cutout circle to the front. Draw the twig with the pen tool, increasing its width to around 10 points. Duplicate this leaf, scale it down and rotate it so the leaves face the middle of the illustration. Create the first flower using the cloud tool, set to 6 bubbles and about 60% in the radius. Copy the layer, scale it down and rotate twice, holding shift. Repeat for another layer, then use the ellipse tool for the center. Align all layers horizontally and vertically. Change fill colors. And add an outer shadow. For realistic shadows, sample the color directly under the element. Group all flower layers, 
make several copies and distribute them over the sketch, scaling as needed. Create an inner shadow for the stem by sampling the blue from the leaves. Add outer shadows to the grouped leaves. Shadows should be consistent in length and not too diffuse, representing the uniform height of the paper. All shadows should fall in the same direction, indicating a consistent light source. They should be slightly offset from the element edges, suggesting a small distance from the background. Add a shadow for the twig, sampling the background color. Apply an outer shadow to each tail feather individually, so the shadow of the top feathers falls on the one below. Add shadows to each wing layer separately. Create an outer shadow for each ellipse and the very top layer with the cutout circle. As in the previous steps, sample the color from the layer beneath it. You can hide the rest of the layers to see the shadow effect better. Create a square on top of all layers with a black fill. Add in noise at around 80% in the color panel. Change the blending mode to soft light and reduce opacity to around 25%. Duplicate the square. Set blending mode to negation and reduce opacity to 75%. And that's it! You've learned how to create an illustration with a paper cutout effect in Affinity Designer version 2. If you're looking for more tips to speed up your work in Affinity Designer, check out my other videos. I love hearing from you guys, so don't be shy and let me know in the comments what you would like to learn more about. See you in the next video. Ciao!